This is the video demonstration on variance analysis. In this video, I'm going to work the solution to example number eight. This example involves the Hughes Company. Now, the Hughes Company has identified certain standards for production. Under ideal standard circumstances, this is what should happen for the each unit that they produce. They should only use two pounds of material. It should cost $2.50 per pound. It should take two hours of labor to make each unit, and they should normally pay a rate of about $10 an hour. It says in the month of May, the company produced 5,000 units, and the following information represents the actual cost of production. So in that month when they made 5,000 units, they ran through 9,000 pounds of material, they paid $3 per pound, they worked 11,000 hours of labor, and paid nine dollars an hour. So under the requirements they want us to calculate the materials variances and the labor variances. Now to calculate variances it's really not that difficult. The main thing is we have to know how to set up the criteria. And we talked about how to set this up in our video lecture on variance analysis but I'll go over this again. On the materials the left side is the actual point, and that's going to be a function of the actual quantity times the actual price. The right side will be the standard, and that will be a function of the standard quantity times the standard price. And then in the center, we will have a midpoint, and the midpoint is a little bit of both. It's the actual quantity, but the standard price. And in between these various points, we will identify different variances a price variance, quantity variance, and a total variance, and we'll also label each one as to whether or not it's favorable or unfavorable. So to do the calculations, this is the actual point. Down here is the information for actual. They actually used 9,000 pounds of material, and they actually paid $3 per pound. So 9,000 times 3 means that they actually spent 27000 in materials. What would have been the standard? Well, how many units did they produce? 5,000 units. Well, according to the standard, it should be 2 pounds per unit. So the standard quantity, they should have actually used 10,000 pounds. And the standard price would have been two fifty a pound. So 10,000 times 2.5. They should have only spent 25000 That would have been the standard amount. And then in the center, it's a little bit of each. It's the actual quantity, which is 9000 but it's the standard price, which is 250 So 9000 times 250 22500 Now we're going to identify the variances. Now the first one's called price variance. This is the variance in between the first two points. We got 27,000 versus 22,500. Well, that's a difference of $4,500. And that one is unfavorable. Why is it unfavorable? Because what they actually spent is higher than the midpoint. So they spent too much. That's unfavorable. Now, the quantity variance, that's the variance in between these two points. You're looking at 22,500 versus 25,000. That is a difference of 2,500. Well, that's actually favorable because the midpoint on this one is less than the standard. So anytime it's less than the standard, that makes it favorable. And then we're going to have a total variance. That's the difference between the main endpoints, this point and this point. So the difference between the 27,000 and the uh, $25,000, that's a $2,000 difference. And overall, it is unfavorable. And why is it unfavorable? Because the actual amount spent is more than the standard. Now, once you finish this, then you can start to interpret what it means. Basically, to produce 5,000 units, we should have only spent 25000 We really spent 27000 so total overall, 
2000 unfavorable. We spent $2,000 too much. But why? Well, it's a mixed bag. The problem is we were only supposed to pay $2.50 a pound. We paid $3 a pound. So in terms of price, that extra $0.50 cents per pound cost us an extra $4,500, which is unfavorable. But thankfully, our employees were very efficient with the materials. They finished the job with only 9,000 pounds of material when it should have taken 10,000 pounds. So because they did that, that saved us $2,500 favorable. So it's not quite so bad. Instead of being $4,500 unfavorable, ended up only being $2,000. So that completes the materials variance. Now we're also going to do this for the labor. Labor is also set up in a very similar way. Actual on the left side, and that will be actual hours times actual rate. Standard on the right side, standard hours times standard rate. And a midpoint, which would be actual hours times standard rate, which is a little bit of both. And again, we'll identify different variances, rate, efficiency, and total. So for actual, according to this, they actually worked 11,000 hours. And what price did they actually pay per hour? $9. So 11,000 times 9, 99,000. What about the standard? Well, they produced 5,000 units. Standard would be 2 hours. So they should have worked 10,000 hours. And the standard rate was identified as 10. So 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. Then in the center, the actual hours, 11,000, times the standard rate, which is 10, that would have been 110,000. So that completes that part of it. Now, variances. The first variance is in between the first two points, 99 versus 110. That's a difference of 11,000. That is favorable. Because notice the actual is less than the midpoint. So they actually spent less. That's a good thing. Efficiency, that's going to be between these two points. So that is a difference between 110,000 and 100,000. That's a difference of 10,000. That one is unfavorable. And then the big difference between the two, the total, 99 versus 100, that's a difference of 1,000. And that one is favorable because the actual is less than the standard. So to explain and interpret this one, we should have spent 100000 We actually only spent 99 So overall, that's $1,000 favorable. But it took our employees longer than it should have to get the job done. They should have got it done in 10,000 hours, took them 11000 So as far as efficiency, that cost us 10000 unfavorable. But... How do we make up the difference? We shortchanged the employees. We should have paid them $10 an hour. For some reason, we only paid them nine. So that on rate variance gave us 11,000 favorable. So overall, we're $1,000 favorable. So that's the way we would interpret and calculate the materials and labor variance.